Sisters and brothers in Christ, this Sunday we celebrate the second Sunday of Easter. This is Divine Mercy Sunday. Welcome to my short reflection for today. We continue to worship the risen Christ who is alive now and forever and ever. It's important to remember that the risen Christ is with us though these days are very different and we are going through difficult times. When I was a youngster, I was not inclined to consider Thomas the Apostle as my patron saint. He was the doubter. When you are of that age, you prefer that matters of faith should be clearly yes or clearly no, and I was uncomfortable with this notion of doubt. It was only when I got into adulthood I began to appreciate Thomas the Apostle. I realized how complicated life could be. Thomas the Apostle is a man who not only struggles with his faith, he is a man who was willing to let others know he was struggling with his faith and I came to recognize that faith which is honest is faith which struggles. It is struggles to know how the eternal truth of God's love and mercy can be the foundation of how we live in these ever-changing and challenging times. And as I get older and as my hair grows greater, you and I can also become a doubter like Thomas. We all have doubts. We are all human. But as you pray today, that same crucified and risen Lord Jesus who invited Thomas the Apostle to come and touch Jesus' wounds is here with us, asking us to trust in him. The same crucified and risen Lord Jesus invites you and me to come and recognize him in others. Many of us are in quarantine because of the present crisis. The apostles were in a way in quarantine. They were in a place where doors were locked. And Jesus found his way to them. Jesus is not confined to his presence in the Blessed Sacrament. He's not confined to a tabernacle. He's not confined to a church building. We know that. Jesus wants to come to you in your quarantine. He wants to come to us in our fear and in these challenging times. He wants to come to us even though we cannot gather in public to celebrate Mass. So let us bring all our doubts, our fears, all other weaknesses to Christ and trust in Him because He has given His very Self for us and to us. God bless you all.